e é aqui, no palco do Sesc de Gravataí, onde nós vemos artistas locais, artistas estaduais, nacionais, onde até a Esbórnia já esteve no palco, onde nós tivemos amostras de cinema e festivais de teatro, que está sendo escrita mais uma página na história do Sesc, quando o furacão do Mississippi veio trazer um pouco de blues para a aldeia dos anjos, o show de J.J. Thames. E antes do show, ela deu uma entrevista exclusiva para a TV seguinte. Então estamos aqui com JJ, The Hurricane Thames. JJ, muito obrigado por receber a gente. E eu queria começar te perguntando, Detroit, Jackson, Nova York, em qual dessas cidades que a música se encontrou com um furacão? Eu acho que each of the cities are a piece of my story so um, I don't know that any of the cities necessarily um, match the hurricane but um, I basically found a part of my story in each city so I would guess I, I brought the hurricane to it. <laughs> Algumas músicas como a O oh Lord, Solid Out, elas são realmente orações, né? E assim como uma oração, a música também é um remédio, um alimento para a alma? Blues is a story, you know, and so you're 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 telling um stories. Um I am a person of faith. I am a Christian. And with that being the case, um all of my music has a undertone um of me having conversations with God because it's part of my day, daily life. So um, being able to share that music um, with other people is kind of letting them into my inner world, into my story and into my prayers. So, yeah. Você esteve já no palco assim com grandes artistas. Quais destes foram mais marcantes para você? Seria o Bob Bland? <laughs> you set me up there. Uh, <laughs> Bobby Bland was that the best one? I would say honestly, it was. It's all of the artists that I've had opportunity to be on stage with. Um, you know, has been absolutely amazing. Um, I enjoyed being on stage with BB King. You know, that was an honor. Um, and it was a couple of years before he passed away at his uh, homecoming in Indianola. So that was great. Um, Uh, and I also have been on stage with Fishbone, um, so it's just been a great experience musically altogether. Every single artist has been um, a joy, and I, th I feel like I've been able to learn from each one of them. E qual artista, mesmo que não esteja mais aqui entre nós, uh, seria o teu sonho assim de dividir o palco? <laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I don't think I could keep up with Mike, but um, it would. It, I've just. I have been a fan since I was four years old, and a lot of my rhythms, a lot of the ways that I interpret music, um, come from his uh, his attack on on the music. So, um, and of course, you know, his roots are like James Brown. So, I guess James Brown. Um, You know, I had opportunity to open for him once um, as a background singer for Peggy Scott Adams, but uh, yeah, so I, I, it would be Michael Jackson <laughs> for sure. Você esteve no Brasil já várias vezes, esteve em várias cidades. Uh, como você se sente quando vem no Brasil e como é a reação do público brasileiro com o blues, o soul, a gospel music? You know, um, I, I spoke to, to someone earlier and, um, you know, she was actually in Argentina, she wasn't in Brazil, but she was saying that uh, tango was Argentinian blues. Um, I think, you know, samba and um, would be, you know, uh, bossa nova, you know, a lot of these different things would be considered Brazilian blues, I think. And so I think that all places have their own version of the blues and I believe that most likely, this is just my opinion, um, I love Brazil because I feel like Brazilians have the, their blues are very closely related to American blues. Um, and it might be some of the African roots, you know, I don't know, but um, I just absolutely love coming 
here and performing here. I just feel that the people um, enjoy and can receive and identify with the music. So I feel like it's my second home. I enjoy it. E para encerrar, só mais uma perguntinha. Tem planos para um álbum novo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> my last, um, I was just telling uh, Alex uh, that uh, my last album was in 2016. And um, I didn't think I was going to put out another one. I actually retired for a couple years, but now um, I feel like the hurricane is spinning again. So it's time to do a new album. And uh, I'm getting ready to go home and work with a vocal coach in order to you know, strengthen my vocals a little bit more and uh, get in the studio. I've got some new stories to tell. Então, JJ, muito obrigado. Uma boa viagem para ti amanhã, um bom show hoje à noite. E você que nos acompanhou, já deixa seu like e se inscreve aí para acompanhar o seguinte. I was just